how's it going? Uh, welcome back, thanks for tuning in for yet another vlog. Uh, we are still uh, shop based for this week as well. Um, still on crutches. I don't know if you caught the gist from um, my last video. So this is only two weeks. I'm sticking to a fortnightly schedule, eh? You like that? Um, whilst it's only two weeks since the last video came out, um, it's actually about six weeks since I filmed it. Uh, that last bit that I filmed where I showed about the rearranging of the shop um, was the last day. I mean, I was still limping that day, but I didn't know things were going to go quite as horribly wrong as they did. Uh, on my walk home on the Tuesday after that, um, my right knee collapsed. I think uh, no one's actually told me what I've really done. But yeah, I've been on crutches for the past four weeks now, uh, went to A&E, etc. I'm currently on physio, but that does mean, unfortunately, that I still have not been able to make it up to the allotment, which is super frustrating because 2024 was meant to be the year that I made a real go at getting back up there after the complete wipeout that was 2023, as noted by the, the lack of content um, on this channel and even photos of the allotment um, over on my Instagram, but never mind. So we've got another action-packed week in the shop. Um, the weather is lovely, as you can see. Um, bit of outside. Oh, there we go, some passers-by. So yeah, the shop's been good. It's the usual Tuesday uh, for the second week of the Easter holidays, so it's not super thriving and buzzing, but it's just steady enough. But we've got some amazing stuff going on. I've just had some deliveries delivered, so um, yeah, I've been waiting to share them with you. So we're going to open those up and see what's inside, and then yeah, just take it from there, see what the week holds. So it's always exciting when new deliveries come into the shop, no matter how big or small. And actually one of those that I just unpacked was for the brand new designs of uh, the loyalty cards for the shops. And yeah, I'm absolutely in love with these designs that I've done now. Um, on the back as well, there's just like the, um, the shop details uh, on the back. And yeah, I went for, went for that, mostly because I love all things nautical. But kind of my brief, if you were to search on Pinterest, the vibe that I wanted to go for for the shop it would be Scandinavian beach hut I guess so yeah that's what the new loyalty cards are about and actually these guys um, who I got them from usually things come wrapped in cellophane and horrendousness but these guys have actually um, come in little recycled cardboard boxes no cellophane at all they're loose printed with vegetable ink so that they're vegan and yeah, I just thought that that was a really, really nice touch, that there's no plastic at all. And even the packaging that they came in, there was no plastic or bubble wrap or anything like that. So that was good. Uh, second delivery was from uh, the Friendly Soap Company. So yeah, just got a little restock of some shaving bars, some soaps, some shampoo bars. And you might have seen these on the shelves around. But yeah, they're um, free from palm, SLS, sulfates, really, really genuinely uh, eco product. And yeah, so got some bars of those. And these things called soap savers, which are ridiculously cheap and ridiculously effective at what they do. They're like a little pouch, which you put your bar of soap into. And it's like a self -loof lathering loofer. Or what you can do is collect all the little bits of soap at the end of the bars when you know you get to the end and it's just impractical to carry on using. Just keep sticking all of those into the soap saver and you can kind of turn them into like a conglomerate of, of ends of soaps and stuff like that. So yeah, that's really cool. Also this week I've got a few other deliveries coming in. I should at some point hopefully be getting shower blocks delivered back in. So again, more soaps like this. This really is my bread and butter selling an awful lot of soap and things like that in the shop. So that's really exciting. Can't wait to share that with you. And minimal. I know that on the last vlog I had a minimal delivery, but it's really, really popular and I'm out of washing up liquid at the minute. And then on Friday evening, I'm finally getting a restock of the food refillery, which is amazing because there's so many empty bits. There's like some empty fuselage behind me here. There's empty containers and down here. So that's going to be absolutely lush because I've hated for the past few weeks just gradually saying sorry to more and more people as I've sold out of things. So this restock is going to be amazing. I really cannot wait for that. So what else have I got to do this week? Uh, I've just finished planning my little Instagram um, grid. So this is what I do. I'm still stuck in the old ways of having quite, quite an aesthetic looking grid. I can't escape it. So probably going to be making some content for that. We've got various other bits and pieces that I'll take you along for the ride for. So yeah, who knows what's up next, but I'm sure something will be. 
So, um, yeah, we're back. It's Thursday. I just had this really big delivery from Shower Blocks, which is one of my long time sort of um, suppliers, I guess, um, friends of the shop. Um, these are so popular with customers, it's unbelievable. So, I will just quickly um, get the box open and share with you what's inside, just in case you're not familiar with them, because it is a sort of fairly niche uh, product within a niche, isn't it? So, I wish that you could uh, smell what I smell this amazing aroma of like fresh, citrusy. All sorts of smells just come out. These these literally have to be smelt. Well, hopefully they don't have to be smelt to believe. Hopefully you just believe me that it's not just marketing hype. But essentially what we've got here is um, blocks of solid shower gel. And I don't know how he does it, but they are so naturally perfumed. So it's not like pungent chemically smell. It's like really, really fresh. Um, so like this is lemon and rosemary. We've also got like black cherry, um, all sorts of different scents. So yeah, there's yeah quite a quite a hefty restock. So yeah, like I said, mint and grapefruit. There's also like mango and passion fruit, uh, black cherry. There's just a peppermint. There's an unscented one as well. But they are, you might be like, Tim, isn't it just a, a bar of soap? And yeah, technically it is. But basically it's got a much higher moisturizer content to it than regular soap. So what you're gonna find is that it lathers just like shower gel and it doesn't sort of dry out your skin. You know how you sometimes get a bit like, I don't know whether it's just my age or not, but you get a little bit sort of dried out, a little bit cracky, a bit crocodile-y. Absolutely not an issue with these shower blocks. So it's wonderful to have these back. Uh, whilst I've got you here, the other thing that I think I teased last um, vlog was an exciting gang club a cult, if you will, that I've joined. And I can share a little bit more with you. So it is this, it is called the Rebel Badge Club, and this is the Rebel Badge book. And basically it's merit badges for adults. And a friend of the shop popped in and sort of introduced me to it. Uh, they were looking for chocolate for the last badge that we did. And basically in this book, there are 52 different badges that you can do from adulting to apothecary, gardener, fundraiser, all sorts of things. And then there's um, additional monthly challenges as well. And um, so I've got myself a little journal and I have been filling it out slowly. So I've only done one badge so far and that was the March 2024 sort of special challenge and it was about uh, the chocolate challenge. So yeah, just flipping through here, like, you, there were 12 tasks that you could do and you had to pick six. So I picked six relatively sort of low energy ones because of my leg. But yeah, I'm really, really chuffed that I found this. It's sort of making me think, keeping me active. So the next badges that I'm doing is linguist. So I'm currently learning Welsh at the moment. I'm also doing activist. So I'm going to be campaigning to save um, bumblebees, which is really, really exciting. There's also, yeah, other badges. There's like, I need to um, do some cross stitch as well. So that will be coming up. I'll share with you my adventures in cross stitch. Yes, yeah, so much to do really. That's about it really for Thursday. There's not a lot else happening. My minimal order still hasn't shown up. They had a fire in the warehouse next to theirs. So that delayed them getting orders out, unfortunately. So I will be back hopefully tomorrow with the restock of that part of the refillery. Yeah, that's about it really. I'm just gonna sort of have my breakfast, rest a bit because I have got physio this afternoon, hoping for a gold star to, um, for my progress for how it's going. I am able to sort of hop around a bit without crutches, which is a real success. But anyway, um, yeah, we will, well, I'll get all of this shower blocks added onto the website, put on the shelves, etc. And then, yeah, we'll see what the day brings. Uh, I'll be finishing at 2.30, like I say, to pop over to Wellington, to the infirmary for physio. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with hopefully another couple of orders. It's really exciting when orders come in. It makes me feel like I'm a success. I don't know if that sounds silly, but when I get to get more stock in, it feels like, yeah, I've achieved something. Like people are buying what I'm stocking because it's helping the planet. So I don't know, it just, it's, a, it's a warm feeling. Anyway, um, yeah, catch you soon. Cheers. 
Hello there, and uh, happy Friday, I guess. So it's the next day and the sun is shining. It is absolutely glorious out there. I have had the door open all morning so far, but I have just shut it. Uh, there's not, it's not a busy street that I'm on. It's a lovely street, um, but it's definitely not busy, but I just didn't want the background noise there to, to be ruining your viewing pleasure. So you can see, I'm down to one crutch, well, hey, but I can also, like overnight, I can kind of do a little bit of, limping around without it. I don't know what's happened because yesterday um, I was meant to go for my physio, wasn't I? And they cancelled it in the morning, no explanation. Presumably a staff member was just unavailable, so they cancelled it, pushed it back a whole month. So I just woke up this morning and the sun was shining. I was like, Tim, you're just going to do it yourself. Just get better. Just, just, yeah, you know what, you know what you're capable of. Just go for it. So that's what I've done today. So what else have we got on today? Well, it's a really, really exciting day because FedEx is on the way. Um, so Minimal have shipped my order after nine-ish days. So that's coming in. It's split into four parts and one of them has already been lost. I've got no idea which of these barrels is not going to be replenished, but it's going to be potluck. So I'm not going to have everything never mind it'll be delivered on monday so it's not the end of the world but that's a relief to have um things coming in last night just before leaving um the wonderful james local artist talented uh lino carver and printmaker popped in and topped up all of his beautiful cards that i um sell of his i absolutely love that's a brand new design that whale and it is beautiful and yeah got a few different colorways of the camper van and yeah they're just absolutely stunning but the big news that we build into all week is the refilling of the refillery and it's looking yeah pretty sorry for itself so these uh, scoop bins so that one's already empty uh, those are looking quite low i've got empty ones over in that corner and then down here i've got another empty one and yeah, it's just bad. I've got empty jars. Those are all empty gravity feeders, if it can focus on them. And again, I've got an empty one there, empty one. That one's low, that one's empty. So this is gonna be huge for the shop, to be honest. And I'm also not super pleased with the layout. So what I'm gonna do is have a quick change around. So that's kind of like the before, if I can hobble backwards a bit. So yeah, that's what the space looks like before. And once it's all refilled and I've had my delivery, it's gonna be later on today, usually about four o'clock. So I'm gonna be staying late, uh, get that all ready for the weekend. And I'll be back with an after shot for you so you can see if it's an improvement or not. And so we're done for another week. It is Saturday morning. It is still absolutely gorgeous weather out there. Like it is amazing. Yesterday was, yeah, really, really good day. Super quiet in the morning, uh, which was weird. But I mean, you kind of expect at Easter holidays with the sun shining, you expect um, dips in trade like that. It's no biggie. Um, but then, yeah, so then I popped out for lunch, which I never do. But I thought I'd go and enjoy the sunshine. Came back and then really, really busy afternoon. And then the uh, food delivery arrived. So yeah, this is all looking really, really lovely. I'm so happy with it. It's going to be so nice to not have to say, I'm sorry, I don't have that in stock anymore to customers. There's a couple of things that I just completely forgot to order. I didn't order any brown lentils and uh, I'm out of currants, um, but never mind. These things happen. So yeah, super chuffed with that. The layout looks fab. It looks a lot more cohesive and sort of, um, how it should so yeah really really pleased and i actually found a couple of empty ones which i'd never put anything in so i've got room for uh increasing my stock range as and when i can so it's actually been a really successful week i'm proper happy with progress i mean like you can see i'm kind of hopping around without crutches so i'm going to be back in a fortnight's time with another video for you fingers crossed by that point i will be able to walk even further and we might actually get some action going on up at the allotment um i've bumped into one of my plot neighbors actually yesterday and he very kindly offered to sort of stream it and cut it back and notify the allotment association that i am very keen to keep on allotmenting and that i've just well he saw that i was hopping around on crutches so there's that so that's a positive i guess no actually i don't guess it is a positive i need to need to stop doing that 
So I hope that you all have a fantastic week, fortnight, day. And yeah, if you've got any questions, comments, please do leave them in the comments section, uh, depending on what device. I know I always say down in the comments, but sometimes it's off to the side and stuff these days. So who knows? Just, yeah, if you want to, please do uh, hit that like button. It really helps out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll be back on your screens in a little while. Also, I'm going to attempt to cut my own hair. I haven't been to the barber since I've been out of action and yeah I'm looking a bit scruffy so next video you might see a very amateur it's taking me back giving me lockdown vibes really of cutting my own hair but we'll see how that goes but yeah in the meantime uh, if I don't see you in the shop or, or out and about then please do take care of yourselves uh, take care of each other and the planet and have a fantastic week cheers everyone